What's up ladies and gentle tubers? It is uh, Everide. I'm looking at this massive hill climb here, contemplating the meaning of life. And uh, I've got somebody, this is a special guest. This I think is, this is the first time I think this has been done. I don't know. I have riding with me, sink riding all the way from British Columbia, Mr. Ride Victoria. That is my cue to say, hey, <laughs> I'm riding my buddy's bike today. Uh, just so you know, I don't know if you saw on the sink ride for sink the planet But this thing has a back tire the size of a Toyota Tundra. It's huge <laughs> So I'm a little uncomfortable <laughs> You should explain to people how you are uh, How you've got your phone situated. Oh, yes. Yeah, okay So you might be hearing mr. Everride in the background Yeah, due to the marvels of editing you'll have a cleaner audio for me, but um I have my iPhone, it is like, it's jammed. It's, it's actually jammed into my cheek, between my cheek and my helmet, so that I can hear what's going on. Oh my gosh. What's that? I think I've chosen the worst place to, to ride in all of history. I basically chose a giant sand dune on a large motorcycle. That wasn't my brightest of moves. There we go, now it's a little more functional. So Kim, are you, are you riding off road right now? No, I'm like walking into a gas station. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get something. What are you getting at a gas station then? I'm, I'm picking up a, a bag of ice. Get a bag of ice, bud? Oh, for what might that bag of ice be for? What are you talking about? <laughs> you, know, you know what's hard? It's talking to one person while you're doing another thing. It's crazy. A bag of ice? What am I doing? A, what am I getting a bag of ice for? That's a good question. You know what my favorite thing is, is you're on the Cena's and your buddy goes into the store <laughs> to get some drinks or something. Yeah. And then when you know that they're checking out, you start rambling off random Thanks, numbers. Buddy. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> I'm trying to listen and talk at the same time. Oh. <laughs> you're going to see, see my buddy's bike here in a second. It's, uh, it's crazy. Now, Kim, there is a very real possibility that I'm going to eat crap. Well, that's awesome. I got this big dippy thing in front of me. Well, if you're going to do it, do it with flair and spectacularly. Flair and spectacularism is what I got there, what I heard over <laughs> yeah, yeah, do it. If you're going to do All it, right, if you're going to wipe out, just do it big. There's no use sort of like kind of, uh, if you're going to do it, just stack it, you know? Yeah, there's, there's no such thing as wrecking on a big bike softly. <laughs> All right, I'm about three minutes away at the most from where I'm going to do our little dirty deed. Did you talk to the people about what we're doing? I was, I was too busy trying to get ice. I'm over here. I'm over here having a legitimate adventure. Oh, nice. Well, I got traffic behind me here. I got to pick up the speed a little bit. I'm turning, I'm turning off in about 100 meters, so it'll get a lot more doable. I got wind blowing it, and people are probably asking, hey Kim, you've got a Sena. How come you're not uh, talking on the Sena? And I'm gonna tell you why. Is because um, my Sena is Bluetooth, that's great, but it's it can only operate one Bluetooth device at a time, and uh, I'm using it for my audio. So, woohoo, I fit. Oh, we got a, got a guy walking his dog. Don't want to scare the dog. <laughs> That's awesome. You can always tell a motorcyclist. I drive by and he gives me a low wave even though he's walking his dog. <laughs> oh man, this bike is totally different in the dirt than my bike. In a big way. <laughs> How it's many not pounds of water do you think you got on the back of that thing? Uh, I've got a one of those huge, I think I showed everybody when I came out. Here, I'll look over my shoulder here. <laughs> I've got one of those big blue camping things. And I got a big blue bucket, and it's tied down with about 18 miles of rope. I'll require a little bit of uh, time to undo it, but uh, but other than that, I'm fine. Bumping, bumping. So, Mr. Everride, um, how far away are you from from your splashdown point? Oh, you know, I could be there within like a minute. Okay, head to, head to your place. Should we, should we? Head head to your place. I'm gonna go should up we, here. This is why this is why we probably <laughs> we'll probably never vlog long distance again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is this is like the most it's like just trying to hear you is like a hundred percent of focus. Let's 
see if we can get Peggy to fly here. <laughs> yes, Peggy flies. If I can make, man, oh, good golly, Miss Molly. This bike is so different. It's so are, you, are you ready for splashdown, my friend? Uh, in about uh, about 150 feet, I've got my I've got a place picked out in my mind. 150 feet. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna make it down back to my uh, my own splash pad. This is so sandy. What I do, am I doing? <laughs> of course, I go into the middle of nowhere and I actually run into somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I look forward to reviewing the footage to, to see what you're actually like seeing and saying. Oh, buddy, I'm telling you, I am not riding on sand. Picture the exact opposite, that is what I am in. Oh yeah, okay, I'm here. Okay, okay. Oh man. I gotta go back down that on this thing. Okay, finding neutral. Let's see, okay, are you at the splash point? Yeah, I'm at the splash point. Now, you might have to do this in, in post. You might have to fast forward for about 45 seconds because I literally have three different lengths of rope lashing everything down. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, I must say, I, I'm pretty impressed with how it, how it traveled. The ice bucket challenge, you know, it actually sounds really, really good to me. It feels really good to you? Well, it's, it's yeah, it's gonna be good. Oh, dude, I'm sure everybody knows what's going on with the, the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge, right? Yeah, yeah, fill, fill them in a little bit. I'm, I'm changing mine up a little bit, and I bet people okay. have figured that, but go ahead, tell them, tell them what your cause is. I'm gonna do it for, whoa, easy. I'm, I'm gonna do it for the ALS as well, and I'm gonna include uh, Mr. Benjamin Brawley in there like you as well. But the ALS Bucket Challenge originated with uh, a baseball player from Boston, college baseball player. I think his last name was uh, Reet, Preet, something like that. Look it up. It's an actually interesting, inspiring story. Because when I first saw this Bucket Challenge, I was like, oh, it's just like planking or whatever. Everyone's just doing it for no reason. <laughs> But there's actually a reason behind it, and his friends are the ones that started it, his fellow teammates. So that's where it originates, and it was to show support for their, their buddy who had been diagnosed with ALS. ALS is one of those things that affects your nervous system and your brain, and it, it just slowly starts um, basically shutting your body down into paralysis. It's a really a terrible disease, and there's not you know, a lot of funding for it. So this is the purpose behind the bucket challenges to raise funds and also raise awareness for the disease. Oh man, this is a lot of water, dude. Seriously, I put, I put those 20, there's seven gallons, so that's probably three and a half gallons in the bucket. I don't know, what did you do? It better be not be like a big, big gulp glass or something, I'll kill you. Dude, mine's just a sippy cup, man. It's a what? <laughs> A no, I got one of those big, huge got coolers, you know. Nice. With the, the ones that the coaches get done for Gatorade with. I better unplug my mic here so that. There we go. That's better. I'm uh, I'm in the position. I got my jacket ready. The water's ready, and it it uh, didn't look like that much water when I put it in originally. So, are you ready to splash? My nomination is, now there's a bit of a catch to this, so don't freak out when I say it. My nomination is you. And not you as in Mr. Everride, but my nomination goes out to you, the viewer that is watching this at the moment. I had a good chuckle at my bald head getting soaked. It's actually feeling quite good now, um, now that my blood vessels have kind of stopped restricting. Um, so you, my viewers, my subscribers, or yeah, just do it on this video, which is gonna be on Everride's channel. Post your video and uh, I'll put it on my Facebook page. We'll do a little shout out for you and uh, we'll see what you can do in the way of chilling your body to the core. Well. Awesome, well man, uh, it was good riding with you today, even though I, I don't think I heard a word you said. <laughs> <laughs> I can kinda understand why people really haven't uh, done this whole like, call somebody long distance and, and do a vlog that way. <laughs> 
Absolutely. For the for the greater cause. For the greater cause. All right. Let's sign out. I, I want to go home and dry off. That's a good idea. All right. Thanks a lot, man. We'll see you later. Talk to you later. Ciao.